mean? I like to drive and clear my mind. Right. <clears throat> you know, I could crack the window and just get a little cool breeze. You have night just, drives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels good, don't it? It feels mm-hmm. so good. I just ride. Got R&B playing. R&B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, Smooth jazz. Or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just riding and let this, this I'm telling you, let this, I, it's so much up here, I got to let it out mm-hmm. one way or another. What you listening to? What type of R&B you listening to, man? Where you riding? <sighs> What type of R&B you listening to? I'm man? versatile. I like I like old school though. I think. Um, See, I told you, you got the Marvin Gaye over here. Yeah, <laughs> the Teddy, the Teddy, the Teddy P, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy P, Teddy P. Teddy P. Teddy P. Teddy P. Teddy P. See, let's go. What's going on? Yeah, Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to the new year 2022. Yeah. Another yeah. podcast in the building. <laughs> and today, we see we're in um, as you see in um location, we're in Virginia, man. It's cold right yeah, now. Sir. Well, sometimes in Virginia weather is sometimes you high. Know. You never know. You never know. One day it was 70, just, and then a few days later it was, it was snowing. snowing. Yeah. But you never know. But it's the winter time here in Virginia. We want to come in with a topic today about the winter time and surviving and working hard and Pushing through the cold time to get through your finances, working hard, um, fitness, mm-hmm. keeping and keeping your mindset together. Yeah. So let's we'll talk about the pros and cons of the winter time and why you need to stay focused during this hard time when people want to stay in the bed, not do anything during the winter time. Oh, mm-hmm. I know that's the hardest part right there. Yeah. Yeah. That, bed feel, that bed, man, yeah, it feels yes, good man. in the winter time right mm-hmm. now. Now that it's cold, and comfort food. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna work on this mindset, really, on how you can stay, you know, positive during this winter time, man. So how y'all feel? I mean, I, I always like to throw it to this guy right here because he go to the finances yeah. first. So in that kind of that <laughs> yeah, sense, yeah. That working and getting today because that's where it starts at. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no money right now. You ain't you ain't really being a, a man right now, especially okay. during this time. Okay, what you say? It's hard to do anything. I don't right? care what you say. So, so how you uh, feel about that, man? How you stay focused during this time in the winter time? I for real. I love the winter time, mm. and from a financial aspect, this is the time to start accumulating. Mm-hmm. This is the time to start accumulating, and the reason why is most of the time, it's a couple of things. If you want to do vacationing or anything during this time period, it's cheaper Ooh. to go during this time of year. Yes. So if you want a vacation and you want to save a couple of dollars, mm-hmm. try to go travel around this time, except holiday season. You want okay. to try to avoid holiday season, Ooh. but um. But the other thing is, man, you stay home more. You know, you you're not really going out doing the extra stuff that you would do when it's a uh, you know like you do during the summertime or spring or maybe even fall. It's a time where you can actually just start to like kind of take control of your finances. And then a lot of people, what they do is you start planning now for whatever you want to do. In the summertime, mm-hmm. when you want to go travel and everything during the summertime. So, from a financial aspect, uh, I love the winter time because one, things usually cheaper if you want to go travel, do anything like that. It's cheaper during this time of year. Two, uh, it's a time where you're not really uh, the most active as far as going out and doing a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So, now it's time. To, yeah, exactly. You're not spending as much. So now you can really take that time out and really just start, uh, like, just accumulate and start saving a little bit more. And then, uh, what was the other thing? Um, I just had an idea and it went away. It went away. You can make a lot of money, too, because Mm -hmm. as of right now, online shopping is at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. So if you got something that you could do virtual or digital product, then you can really flood that out because people on their phones, they're going to do a lot of uh, browsing. Yeah. They're doing a lot more browsing. So this is a great time for you to do some marketing in order for you to start reeling in more clientele. Right. And then also, speaking of that, um, just a little tidbit. If anybody got a pickup truck. Yes. 
and oh, you can, snow plow? and if you could put this plow on the front of yes. it, yo, you can make some hella money out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know they did. Or, or like I, I remember, I think it was either a year or two ago. Me and my dad, we went out and we started doing like a couple of little areas, not not plowing, but like so, icing. I mean, uh, putting the salt and everything yeah. down. Oh, kind yeah. of prepping, um, man. That's a great way to make some additional income too, mm -hmm. man. Helping people prep for the snow, removing snow. Like, man, sometimes you just gotta put your ego to the side if you want to really make money, man. It's plenty of ways to go out here and do it. Absolutely. All the time you can uh, rake leaves. You know yep. what I'm saying? Blow, yep. Or smarter way, just blow them shits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just blow it. You know. Max. And um, so it's it's plenty of ways to go out here. And like Trey said, make money during this time of year as well. So you could save money, a lot of stuff going on discount. Um, mm. You could buy your holiday stuff now, mm. and that's on discount because of, you know, the all of that done. stuff. Yep. I you can't know. believe people do that, man. Yeah. I, I've never thought about doing that, but as I'm getting older, it's kind of good to bulk up. I, I know people like, during this time, be like 50% off the lights. I know people do the holiday stuff. And they don't put them that. in the storage all the way to yeah. next year. And then, yeah. bro, it, it may, I mean, they, the candies, all of that type of stuff go on sale. So I love this type of year, just speaking from a financial mm -hmm. aspect. Those are all the reasons why I think the winter time is such a great season to go ahead and start trying to get your, get yourself financially set up for the new year and coming out of the winter season. Shout out to the episode that we had on financial planning mm, yeah. uh, a few episodes oh. back. So mm. tap into that to go deeper on ways that you can plan going into the next year. Right. Um, as far as me, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Your mindset, um, how do you, how you keep your mindset together? Champions are built in the cold, mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. because there are things that you have to endure. And like we already touched on it, a lot of people don't want to do things in inclement weather. So there's more isolation, mm -hmm. right? There's less people. So that means that there's more time for you to spend with self. Um, and going outside gives you uh, visual and an internal clarity. So when there's less people around, your thoughts can roam and wander as much as they need to. You got more space. <clears throat> and if you go outside, uh, just outside on the balcony, just outside on your porch, just outside walking around a park, anything of these, you just go outside, it's vast, it's open. And when you see this vast openness, it opens the mind. When you're inside and you feel, uh, What's the word for it? Uh, claustrophobic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel uh, secluded. You feel like there's not a lot of room. There's not a lot of space that plays on the mind. So going outside in the cold is uh, is it gives you a lot of clarity because it the visual will open your mind mm -hmm. before you ever even you know start taking steps towards what it is that you need to open up on. Mm. That's one thing. Another thing is, like I said, there's less people. Less uh, people are less willing to go out in cold weather. Um, so you can get more done. Um, you can get a lot of stuff achieved or accomplished in a lot of in a less time. Excuse me, <laughs> in uh, less time. Like there's not as many lines if you got to mm. go. I know for me, I got a product <coughs> that I'm shipping. Um, if you have to go to the post office, it's usually hectic. Well, it's not, it's, it's not as hectic in the cold. Um, <laughs> now, around the holidays, that could fluctuate. Yeah. Um, but as of right now, it'd be like one or two people in there. Uh, you can go ahead and handle what you need to handle and get it done quick and get back to something else. So that caters to the efficiency that you spoke on. Mm -hmm. um, right. Also, me, I like... I like fashion. So when it comes to that, in the colder weather, you have more options on mm -hmm. things that you can wear. <laughs> layers. You have layers, layers. of things you could do. Plus, not only do I love fashion, but I love comfort. As you've seen in a few, I got the hoodies on. Hoodie gang. I, I love the trappers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Support the trappers. Hey. Uh, this brand is the... Yeah, we get into it. Right. This mm -hmm. is the low... I think this is the best 
brand in the city, and it's a black-owned brand. They just opened their own store. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't tell me some camera. You tell me about this. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, man. No one's here. Shout out Trey. Shout yeah. out, hey, VA. VA, hey, we in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the brand is called FYBB. Uh-huh. Uh, it stands for Focus Yourself Beyond Belief. And I definitely support that. Um, we are currently in communications on being able to do some things. We want to want to be able to bring uh, some views to their store. So hopefully we can get an episode running in their store or in, in mm. uh, and things of that nature. But that's, that's hard. planning ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So at this moment, what we can do is you have that mental clarity in the code. So then you can sit here and you can truly plan ahead with that mental clarity because you got an open mind and things are able to just go out. So with that, you're thinking more clearly, you're thinking more efficiently, and you're thinking of more. It's more of an abundant mindset in this time frame. Mm -hmm. Um, You can cater to the abundant mindset instead of uh, feeling like um, the scarcity, you know, like everything is spare. Like, uh, there's less of, like it's an abundance. And um, it also caters to your discipline because like we said, you want to be comfortable, you want to be inside. The person that can go outside and withstand that shock of the cold is a different type of being, man. (laughs) So, (laughs) So for you to just maintain, you're already above average. You know what I mean? Not alone, if you can do better than, like if you could prosper at this time in this we- in this type of weather, in cold weather, that's what builds the champion. That's yeah, what makes you strong, cold. you know what I'm saying? Yep. So uh, that's why I love the cold. Uh, it's because you can get a lot of mental clarity. I do a lot of my self-analysis, my self-evaluation, mm-hmm. my year wrap-up. All of that stuff comes when it's cold. I can sit down, I can breathe clear. Mm-hmm. Um, the gyms are not as packed. Um, the roads are not as hectic. Um, we in Richmond, Richmond crazy anyway. <laughs> but the roads are not as hectic, you know what I mean? I like to drive and clear my mind. Right. <clears throat> you know, I can crack the window and just get a little cool breeze. You have night just, drives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels good, don't it? It feels mm-hmm. so good. I just ride. Kind of R&B playing. R&B. <laughs> kind of like you know what I'm saying? Or, smooth jams. Or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just riding and let this, this I'm telling you, let this, I, it's so much up here, I got to let it out mm-hmm. one way or another. What you listening to? What type of R&B you listening to, man? Where you riding? What type of R&B you listening to, I'm man? I'm versatile. I like, I like old school, though. I think. Um, See, I told you, you got the Marvin Gaye over here. Yeah, <laughs> the Teddy, the Teddy, Teddy, Teddy P, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy P. P. Teddy P. Teddy P. Oh, hey, <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about, you know man. What I'm saying? Like, like, those things just, you know, and just feel good, and yeah. just, and just get in, get in tune with self. That's a great time to get in tune with yourself, and then put some action behind the things that you actually want. That's good, man. You see, oh God, <laughs> that boy. He said, he said. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the R&B. I can see him just chilling. He got he's right, sitting there just right. riding, just listening to R&B. Got a window crack. He just relaxed. I already know him. He's chilling, man. Yeah. Chilling, yeah. Yeah. chilling. Anchor is a podcast platform that we are on. The FMF podcast is on and available to you right now. We have a goal with that one. We're trying to reach over 50 listeners. So if you're busy and you can't sit here and watch the video episodes, please go to Anchor and just check it out and you can listen to us on the go. Now, fitness. Uh, Talk to him, G. I thrive in the fitness when it comes to the winter time. Uh, oh, man. Champions of like said, Y'all check me on my YouTube channel. This link is going to be in the bottom. Y'all can find me. Yes, indeed. So my videos are really... Probably half of them I'll be working out are in the winter time. It's just <laughs> something about working out in the cold. Mm-hmm. One, not a lot of people are doing it. Absolutely. And two, it recovers your body faster. Cold weather does. This is the reason why you ever seen like athletes, they do cold baths. Yeah. Yeah. They even got that new tech. The, yeah. the, the, the ice. The ice. What's the thing that you're doing there? I saw Mayweather do it first. I don't know if he was the first ever do, but I saw him. Cryogenics. First do. Yeah, okay. they go into this thing. Y'all see probably seen before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sit into that thing, it'd be like negative. 100 degrees or whatever, maybe I may be wrong, but it's cold in there. Yeah. 
Your body, when it gets that cold temperature, it boosts your testosterone, mm -hmm. it rebuilds your body, it heals your body, your skin gets tighter. I mean, it just makes you all around healthier. Mm -hmm. So when you work out in that cold weather, man, it just feels so good. And it's, it just gives me a mentality like, nobody else doing it, so I'm going to do it. It right. just gives you that, that fighter in instinct. It's yeah. like everybody in the house all snuggled up. When you go outside, get that. Yeah, you outside, yeah, you just kill it. It just gives me that like, God, ah, I'm doing it. You're different. So bro. that's that's why I love it, man. It just makes man hands can't even, sometimes can't even feel your hands, right? <laughs> Cross bit, all that. But like I was telling them before we got on the camera, I mean, it's not enjoyable. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not like I love it because it feels good. But that first 10, 15 minutes, oh, you gonna feel that pain. Mm -hmm. You could be outside like, why am I out here? Gosh, but then you get that sweat on, that hoodie come off, long sleeve on, you're like, oh yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, right. So your recovery gets better, your immune system really builds. Again, of course, during this time we are right now, during this um this vid, and you want your immune system to stay up. So mm -hmm. it really helps out a lot. Um, today I'm gonna go outside, you know, get a little workout in. I ain't gonna be out too long because this is a fine line between you being out there too long getting sick and just getting your workout. I want to say that. You only stay out three, four hours. You ain't trying to get sick. Right? Yeah, don't, be don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. But yeah, but if you get a chance, get out of that stuffy gym during this winter time and you know, get outside and work out for a little bit. Go for a run, go for a walk, man. It'll help build that immune system because I don't promote a lot of the gyms right now. Um, Cause at the beginning of the year, we call the people that, you know, the new year resolution people. <laughs> yeah. I went by the gym that, um, Yesterday, man, you can't even park in the parking lot. Mm. And you had to, I had to park on the next side. And I was like, oh, man. about a month or two. Yeah, you uh, know how it goes. Yeah. About the first month, everybody decided they're going to you know, jump in. I don't discourage people. Y'all know how it goes. Mm, Some yeah. people get in, they say they're going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I, could, I didn't want to go in there because it was too many people, especially during this time. With the, Even if not, you yeah, still got flu season, you got cold season, all this stuff in there. You sometimes don't want to stay in that stuffy gyms. It's not to mess up anybody else's gym right now. It's just you know how it is. Yes, mm. it is. So I got outside, got a little, got a few reps in, got my my body flowing because I don't go in there just to try to be the biggest guy. I'm trying to just be healthy, you know. Yeah, trying to, so I got my little workout in, got my little sweat in. I get back in the house. Yeah. So he said winter the the fighters are built in the winter time, man. Mm -hmm. If you get on top of you getting up in early in the morning, get your work done. Mm -hmm. And getting your mind set together, and then you throw your fitness all together. If you do that in the wintertime, up until it gets spring, man, you a monster during that spring and summertime, I'm man. You, you a whole nother animal. You so, telling everybody. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, man. So if you can try to get outside, get that fitness in, get that working out in, and some of the best foods during this time, man. Mm -hmm. oh, I got get my chili in, mm -hmm. get my beans in, and <laughs> get all that yeah, food. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh man, broth. Any type of broth when it comes to the <laughs> soups are good for you. Yep. Um, and it comes to any beans and like that, like I throw into my chilies and things like that, the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's really good when you come to this winter time. Man. Yeah. I know. I do. I do hot stuff all year round. I don't know. Some people don't like doing it. You know, in a in a in a hot time, they don't like no hot food. Right. Why See, is I, that? I'm I'm, I'm kind of like that. I don't like I don't like ice cream in the winter. No, nah, see, no. Nah. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. You know, it's, 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 it's a thing. It's a feeling. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I don't it. I don't like ice in my water. Well, I. I I really don't like that to begin with, mm -hmm. uh, but um, like in the summertime, I don't like soups and all of that type of stuff. Right. And then in the wintertime, mm -hmm. I'm not like I'm not a big ice cream person anyway, but I like a big slushy person. I don't really do slushies. Mm -hmm. I don't do slushies in the wintertime. I don't it, know what's a combination. You already cold outside. Why are you gonna make myself even cold? Yeah, it right. yeah. just don't make sense to me. So <laughs> I see. I, like, like, I, I don't really do it. But I, I do want to touch on another thing I just thought of while y'all was talking as far as financial. If, if you have the type of money to do this, mm -hmm. the other thing you might want to tap into uh, during this, the cold season, is the real estate market. Ooh. The real estate market, because usually during this time of year, mm -hmm. the real estate market kind of goes well, down. Yeah. They and, say that people ain't buying and all that mm -hmm. stuff, but that's what some of the best deals are made. Is exactly because because the demand has dropped down so much, mm -hmm. the prices drop down, and so a lot of people I know that 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 uh, are in the real estate industry, mm -hmm. they scoop up houses around this time of year because mm -hmm. one uh, one of the big reasons is, and I'm not like a real estate expert or anything like that. Yeah, no, we you just, know, you just watch stuff. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah, just you see know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's but it's but. The, the busiest season, of course, is like the summertime, summer, yeah. because most of the time, family's trying to get into a house before school start. 
things like that, it's high demand, people relocating, all that type of stuff. So then once you get past, by that busy season mm -hmm. and you start getting into the, you know, the November, December, January, February type of yeah. time, that's when you get find your best deals on the market because right after that, people starting to kind of come back around, trying to get stuff planned out and all of that type of stuff. Right. Also, if you are renting, mm -hmm. the renting right now is the best time. And the reason why, I remember my first apartment that I got, I, I moved in December 4th. I remember that Jay-Z birthday. <laughs> um, these, December 4th was, uh, I got I moved in my first apartment and I actually got a deal because uh, they're trying to find people to, to occupy these spaces. Yep. And usually what they do is they give you a 10 month lease or an eight month lease at a discount because they want to get you out doing the business. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just got that right yeah. down my lines. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they lowered my, my rent. Yeah, see. Because I was about to leave. Yeah. And see, yep. what happened was, man, with me, I, um, I ended up moving in. And at this time, this was downtown. I had a all expense, all expense paid. Um, the only thing I had think I had to worry about was electricity. Yeah. That's the only thing. Ooh, downtown. Downtown. Yeah. This was big, um, before you, young lady. Yeah. Oh, this was. I was nineteen when oh, I got my pimping. first. Place. He was downtown. <laughs> yeah. All expense. Yo. Oh yeah, you was pimping. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah, was. Like, downtown. He, he, I every was downtown. I, no, listen. Every time I'm about to get him into something, he always, I was you know, down, you know. Yeah, he knew that every time he tried to hide something. Like, I mean, you know. You I mean, know, I was yeah, 19. You know. I got my own spot. Mind That's you, okay. I was, it was, uh, no, nah, I ain't going to say the name of the apartment. But I had a 12th floor Ooh. Riverview place. Ooh, it was, it was, it was like a studio. Mm -hmm. And I was paying, this was, what, 2009. Uh -huh. And I was paying like 17. Mm. Oh, you couldn't beat that. Seventeen, and then by the time my lease ran up, they went up about two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? But they they was telling me, yo, we giving you a discount, and it's only we only doing it for like I think it was like a ten month lease. Yeah. And so if you want to try to get discounts or like uh, you know special rates, right. this is the time to try to go find apartments right. and see if they doing like rates, uh, special rates for. Uh, for like short and leases. So that's another thing y'all might want to look out for as well. Moves are made yeah. in this type of weather. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. so many, just, just the weather alone affects so many things. The way people think, the way they move, what they're doing with their money, what you're doing, you know, what you have to look forward to. Um, it affects a lot. So take advantage of that. That's why the champions are built in the cold. Take advantage of the weather dropping, and uh, the time of year, uh, these winter months, uh, some 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 big moves can be made and be put into play for you to really set yourself up for that prosperity that you're working towards, for the clarity that you've been looking for, mm -hmm. um, for the body that you've been working on, um, tapping on that, like you can, like if you do any type of ab workout because you have a long sleeve on it's going to work other it's going to heat the body up it's going to work other areas as well you can just do do a few crunches and you work your arms as well you can get hot you know what I mean? <laughs> and that spreads mm -hmm. and then it's like that's that's going to stick with you through the day so you start your, your day off with the workout mm -hmm. your body is continuously getting gains from it um, these types of things, man. So go outside in this cold weather and get you some. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, get out there, man. Just try. Just you ain't got to do it every day. I know people don't work out every single day, but right. I say switch it up. Uh, if you go to the gym, say you go to the gym on three days out of the week. Mm -hmm. Do one day out of the week outside, the other two in the gym. Right. Mm -hmm. Or just you know, just throw in that once and just see how it goes. Right. I mean, what's the worst? You gotta lose, man. You ain't got nothing to lose. Might as well go ahead and try it out, man. You might like it. Right. I love it. I don't, I mean, you don't <laughs> catch me a lot in the gym. Every once in a while. But now, I mean, if I'm going to the gym, I'm going late night, so I'm trying to be around a whole bunch of people. Mm. That's what my condition. I ain't trying to be with too around too many yeah. people. So if it's late night, I'll go. If not, you know, I'm outside getting calluses on these hands, man. Hey, I love it, man. Working. Sand paper hands. That's what they call hey. it. You feel me? You feel me? Then you get you some shine to soften no, that up. There we go. <laughs> it's in the bottom. I'm trying to tell you. Go ahead and cop that shine, man. Oh, Use man. it every morning, man. I'm trying to tell you. Wait, I'm waiting on that new scent, man. 
Which one? I told you I want the um the um I don't want to say their name on there. You know the, the famous the, 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 the make me go to sleep, make me feel good. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The camera of, man. Um, what's the other one? It's a lip um. It's like makes you um tired, not tired, but helps you sleep. Elliptic or um. Eucalyptus. You could. Is it ever? No, eucalyptus is gonna keep you up. No, not that. Um, it's dang. gonna relax you. It's gonna calm you. I don't know. Like, I know it's lavender and <laughs> something else that make you, you know try to relax, man. Kim, is Kim in? Yeah. Oh, okay, man. I'm a, I told y'all, man. I'm trying to learn. Ain't good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> and chamomile is in the lavender scent, um, but yeah, we gonna work on that. Yeah. So <laughs> champions are built in the cold. All of these reasons why. Exactly. Be a champion, all right? Exactly, man. We'll see y'all in the next one. If y'all subscribe, <laughs> like, uh, let y'all let us know how y'all feel about this episode, man. Absolutely. Any episodes y'all want to talk about, any topics. Y'all put them at the bottom, man. Yep. All the links in the description, man. We'll see y'all on the next one, man. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Yeah.